It's an incredible sight. Danger, literally out of the blue. Watch it again. Just seconds after taking off from JFK, you can see a flock of birds fly into the engine of Delta Flight 1063 en route to Los Angeles, 172 passengers on board. WABC obtained this picture of the damage they caused. Up in the air within seconds after the strike, an unbelievably cool and calm pilot alerts the control tower he has a serious problem. And Delta 1063 has had an engine failure on the right engine declaring an emergency due to a bird strike. Departure Delta 1063, we have declared an emergency engine failure on the right engine. Uh, request a visual return back to 13 right. In the cabin, the smell of smoke, terrified passengers tightening their seat belts, hearing a grinding sound from the engine. New request, we'd like to do a visual to 22, please. Delta 1063, you're just going to go in visually? Yes, ma'am. Delta 1063, that would be great. Minutes later, they're on the ground. Hey, this is Grant Cardone. I just got off a flight 1063, Delta Flight 1063. Dude, that was the scariest thing I have ever done in my life. Grant Cardone was recording the takeoff from first class. The plane shook us where I thought we were coming down. I choked on the video. I was literally calling my wife to say, hey, we could be freaking. This might be my last flight. I was that scared. Wow, thank God. It's all right. Bird strikes are not an uncommon occurrence. Since 1990, there have been more than 2,500 bird strikes at JFK alone. The number of strikes annually reported has increased more than five-fold from 1990 to 2010. And this one happened at the worst possible time, on takeoff, when the plane needs all the power it can muster. The real critical part of this is that it happened right after takeoff, three seconds after rotation, when the airplane's very heavy, it's got a full load of passengers, it has lots of fuel on board, and now he's down to one engine, and he sees the engine unwind in the cockpit, and he knows he's got to do some things very quickly, by memory and very professionally. ABC News flight consultant Steve Ganyard has been at the controls during a bird strike himself. Even a small bird can cause serious damage to an engine. If it's a big bird, it can bend back those compressor blades that you see in the front of the engine, and it can actually cause what's called a compressor stall, which is very much like a backfire in a car. And with all the uproar of late about pilot and crew misbehavior, what a contrast to hear this Delta pilot's professional demeanor. Listen to his calming voice after it was all over. All is well so they can take their time and everybody can be calm out there. Delta 1063, thanks for the heads up. Reminiscent of that famous water landing in New York. Yeah, I did 1529, turn right 280, you can land runway right. 1 at Teterboro. We can't do it. Okay, which runway would you like at Teterboro? We're going to be in the Hudson. A massive bird strike brought down this U.S. air flight into the Hudson River. The airplane was pelted by many large birds. We could hear them hit. At the controls, Captain Sullenberger, or just Sully, who became a national hero for his calm demeanor and quick thinking. I was very confident. We had a plan, and it was the execution of that plan that was essential to getting us safely to the surface. And then I knew once we landed that the crew could evacuate the passengers and the rescue could begin. He, too, unable to avoid what pilots fear most. It's very, very difficult to avoid the birds. Sometimes you'll see them at the last minute. You're moving very fast, 150, 160 miles an hour. And if you were to abort the takeoff, you might cause more problems than you would if you just continue the takeoff. Planes like this Boeing 757 are actually designed to fly, land, even take off with just one engine. And today's remarkable flight and emergency landing is testament to the safety of the American fleet with no fatal crashes in two years. And to the cool-headed pilots who fly them. For Nightline, I'm Jim Avila in New York.